here in my lovely bedroom will work. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube, if you're watching me on Catch Up. How are you all doing? It's just saying to our friends on Instagram here that I am in sunny Switzerland, looking out on blue skies, uh, snowy capped mountains, and it is just lovely. Looking forward to going out for a nice walk a bit later on today once I've done all my work because I have a couple of features that I've got to write and record for the Friday Five podcast. So not finished just yet. A few things to get on with. And today we're going to be getting on with a really good topic, which I'm really excited to be talking about because hopefully it's going to give us some new inspiration for weight loss, always a popular one, and health gain because that's what it's all about here, really. It's not about being a skinny mini. It's about having a better second half, about being fitter, stronger, having more energy, looking after our good gut bugs, sleeping better, all of those things. Hi, Rachel. How are you? So Rachel is back in the UK. She's the um, social media manager on my Lizard Wellbeing team. So she is running Facebook. So thank you very much for that. So as you probably know by now, if you're watching on Facebook, you get the live links. Yeah, you guys are the lucky ones because we can link directly to the things that we talk about. On Instagram, if you go to the bio where it says Liz our Wellbeing, there's that little circle picture and a bit of blurb. If you click on that, then we put up lots of bits of information there. But always you can find everything on the Liz our Wellbeing website, okay? Including all the Liz Loves discounts. We've got a great new Liz Loves launching today, Gabriella Peacock. We're going to be talking with her COO shortly, all about amazing supplements that can help with a little bit of weight loss and more. So watch out for that one. That is, it's a Liz Loves and it's 15% everything off GP Nutrition, which is a really good website. So anyway, more of that in a moment. But obviously this week, we were talking earlier in the week with our friends from Bimuno about gut health. Wasn't that so interesting? Talking about IBS and about bloating. I learned a lot. I love it. I love it when I have guests here who teach me about something that I've been writing about for years. So what I want to focus on today is just introducing you to a few little things that I've picked up here. So I am in Badragaz, which is the name of a spa town, small spa town south of Zurich. And bad means bath in German, I think. Don't test me on my German, please. It's virtually non-existent. Um, and if you are a proper resort, you're allowed to use the word bad in your title. So this is Bad Regaz. It's the grand resort, Bad Regaz. And honestly, it's extraordinary. It's really, really amazing. They take wellness really seriously. Since I've been here, I have not stopped. I have met with so many of their experts. They've got fitness experts who've taught me new things about strength training. I've met with dietitians who've taught me more about microbiome health. I've met with top chefs talking about how to use simple everyday ingredients to get real taste and value for money into our food. I've met with beauty therapists, estheticians, dermatologists. I mean, it's, it's really, really amazing. So lots of information which I'm going to be passing on. I'm writing about it for Lizard Wellbeing magazine and also online, as well as podcasting with one of their directors for next week. And I actually met one of their top chefs this morning. I was filming with a guy called Sebastian. Last night I had dinner in, they have a restaurant here, okay, it's a restaurant in a spa, it's got two Michelin stars, I mean it's, it's amazing. Lovely guy called Sven Wasmer who's been here for a few years now and his, I guess number two, is the head chef of a restaurant here called Verve and I'll pop some pictures in my story so you can see. And I wanted to chat to him about some of the really simple things that they do. So when I arrived here, you may have seen I popped it on my stories. I had this little jar waiting for me uh, and this is a little jar of, of crudite and so it's just some raw carrot and radish and cucumber. There's some um, kohlrabi which you can eat raw which is great and some fennel with a little bit of a dip and they make these amazing herb oils and I have actually filmed a little bit here a clip for YouTube to show how to do that um, but this is whizzed up tofu so if you want to blend tofu so it is a vegan dip if you want it really nice and smooth and creamy high in protein which is good and you just season it with a little bit of the herb oil which you make by basically just simmering herbs one particular herb I think this one is dill but you could use something like parsley 
with a little bit of oil. So they use rapeseed, rapeseed oil, I would maybe use olive oil, but you could use your favorite oil. And then you just whiz it up, blend it really, really well, put it through a sieve to get all the little bits out. And that's what gives it the lovely green color. So I just thought, how genius is that? Just to have, you could use up jam jars and keep them in your fridge. So if you've got a house full of kids or whatever and they're coming back from school, they want to grab a snack, there's just something really tasty and healthy. Uh, you'd rather have a croissant. Well, I did have a croissant as well yesterday. So, you know, it's not either or. You can do both, obviously. But getting in diversity, the key always with our good gut bugs um, is diversity. And the other thing that we talked about were these pickles. And obviously Germany um, is, and Switzerland as well is really known for things like sauerkraut, which is full of good gut bugs, really good for us. Again, really simple. And uh, I've got a recipe, so all that is coming up on YouTube. So that was one of the things that I've been doing here. I've got my beautiful bowl of pickles here, which I should be eating later. And then the other thing, of course, that they're really known for here in Switzerland, there was a famous doctor called Dr. Bircher, and you may know he invented this thing called the Bircher muesli. And what you do here, and they introduced this actually because of COVID, but it's been so successful, they're going to carry it on. So, you know, one of the few good things maybe to come out of COVID is they do these little individual jars at breakfast of all sorts of different things. So in the old days, they used to make a great big bowl of muesli and you'd come along like a buffet and you'd help yourself. When COVID hit, they did everything in little individual portions, but these are just the cutest little things. I'm gonna try and find jars like this. I mean, you can recycle jam jars, but these look really pretty, don't you think? Um, Alison, you've got to eat your kimchi. She says she's just bought kimchi, but she hasn't been brave enough to eat it yet. You know, the thing, the thing about kimchi is you only need a tiny bit, like, you know, a teaspoon, okay? You don't need masses. You get millions, if not billions, of beneficial bacteria from something like kimchi. And you can pop it on a baked potato. You can add it to, you know, an omelette. You could pop it in a sandwich with some cheese. You know, it's super easy way to get these good gut bugs. Anyway, I digress. So this one I picked up this morning, and it is made with like a coconut yogurt with chia seeds and little nuts and seeds on it, which I thought looked rather good. Might eat that later. And then this one. Uh, so the, the brand name of the jars, they're not marked. I think we're just going to have to go online if anybody can find them. What does it say? Oh, it does have a brand name. I'm so sorry. Weck. Okay, I haven't looked online. I didn't notice that. Thanks for the prompt. W-E-C-K. Cute, aren't they? So this one, I actually popped a few extra blueberries on the top because blueberries, as you will have seen perhaps yesterday from my YouTube, I do consider to be one of the true, few true superfoods. Um, but this is birch and muesli, and I'll show you the chef here has given me uh, his recipe, which we filmed for YouTube. Excuse me, I am actually just going to eat a blueberry. Oh, they are so good. Great to have the snacks. So you can make a whole load, pop it into jars, and then you've got individual servings to grab. You know, so I usually end up giving my youngest something to eat in the car on the school run because we're running late. So, you know, rather than giving him a piece of toast to munch on, I give him a little jar of this. So easy, so simple. Right, talking about easy and simple, we are going to be diving into easy and simple ways to lose weight. And I did see your comment um, about gaining weight. So that'll be interesting. Not everybody wants to lose it. Some people want to gain it. Oh, I've just been reminded it wasn't Bimuna I was talking about. I've got them in my head at the moment because I just had my Bimuno sachet. It was Optivac. Yeah, Optibac that we talked about on Tuesday, introducing Everyday Max. Yeah, do you remember that chat? If you missed it, you can watch it on Catch Up. Really good new supplement. And what I like about this is it's clinically proven to help with things like constipation, diarrhea, bloating, IBS. It's a really good support for something like IBS. And the studies are there that can really show that these uh, are beneficial strains. And we had a really good deep, deep dive chat about that. So uh, we do have a Liz Loves discount on that as well, um, which I will let you know about. <laughs> it's gone off my list. Uh, but yeah, Optibac. Sorry, that's what we were talking about on Tuesday. But right now we're going to be talking. Yeah, you could take Optibac with microbes. You know, the more the merrier. Yeah, absolutely, Pen. I, I take everything. <laughs> okay. You know, these are all foods. These are all things that are good for us. And what we know for sure about the gut and about the microbiome, obviously it's an emerging science, but what we do know for sure is that diversity is king. 
the more we can eat of different things, that's why, you know, if you can have some pickled veg, like they make here at Bad Regards, if you can have your chopped up veggies, where are they here? You know, look at those different colours. I mean, you're eating the rainbow in one little jar. It's so easy. It's just about getting organised, getting in the mindset to do it, and having things to hand that are easy to grab. You know, if you've suddenly got to start chopping up a load of carrots, I mean, that's just a faff, isn't it, if you're busy. But if you've already done it, and you've got them ready to go with a nice little dip, then you're more likely, perhaps, to reach for that than to reach for the packet of biscuits in the drawer, maybe? Yeah? What do you think? Anyway, let us see. 15% on Optibac. Thank you very much, Rachel, for letting me know that. Everyday Max. Okay, Liz loves 15%. If you want to try that, you get your discount. Right, I'm going to be joined, hopefully, by Elizabeth Bayliss, who uh, is, yeah, excellent, the COO of... Gabriella Peacock Nutrition. You may have seen Gabriella. She actually was in uh, the You magazine on Sunday. Hi. Hi. How nice are you? <laughs> nice to see you again because I last saw you in person many years ago. Yes, correct. At Grace Belgravia. Yeah. Pods, 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 yeah. Yeah, you showed me around. I remember. Were you working with Gabriella back then with Gabby? I was in terms of, I, so I was head of brand at Grace Belgravia, so I kind of crossed both. For those that don't know, Grace Belgravia was a, a health and wellness, amazing members club in London. Yeah. And we had the sort of the, the gym entertainment um, culinary side, but then we also had a medical clinic on one side and mm -hmm. Gabriella was in the medical clinic. So yes, yeah, so I, I worked across both sites and then worked with Gabby. That's why we sort of met and... and then I joined GP Nutrition. Okay, and now you run it all. <laughs> I do. I do. With my friends, I do run it all, yes. And do you know, it's amazing. I was obviously having a good snoop around her website. And there's so much good stuff on it. You know, I really liked the, the way that everything is quite carefully edited because it's such a complicated space, isn't it, nutrition? Yeah. And particularly with supplements. And I talk a lot about, you know, my favourite things. And my favourite things, I was pleased to see, overlap with a lot of hers. So, for example, that you've got a little kit, haven't you, that's got your omega-3 oil, turmeric, and is it a multivitamin? I can't remember. Yeah. You know, and those are the things. I was looking at it and I thought, you know, those, I've got them in my bathroom here. You know, those are the key things love turmeric anti-inflammatory properties i found it really helpful and obviously omega-3s super good because you know i don't eat a lot of oily fish i mean actually they do have a lot of oily fish here on the menu which is nice but you know not every day and that one in particular is actually a vegan omega oil as well so ah okay quite balanced. so of course you do get omegas from fish fish sources and, and marine yeah. sources but actually, it's really interesting that the amigas start in the seaweed and the, and the algae. The, the algae. Yeah. yeah, so taking a step back. And also, as you rightly say, what, what Gabby's done very cleverly with her range is to really simplify everything. Mm. Supplements. You know, if you go into Whole Foods, any, any number of stores, you just see this wall. Oh, it's just, it's <laughs> crazy. It's really it's crazy. Fun. I mean, you, you end up with like kind of 19 yes. different jars of things. I mean, I've got enough, but... Uh, you know, I, I do like to just really focus on the key ones that I know are going to deliver results because otherwise I think it's a bit of a waste of money, really. And they all work so symbiotically. So the reason that we've got the multivitamin and the omega and the turmeric, for example, mm. is that you need oils to help amplify the absorption rate of the turmeric, the, the curcuminoids and the biotin. So actually, yeah. if you take it together, you will have much higher absorption. So the efficacy will, will be much higher. So we deliberately put mm. all those things together because you could go in and buy those three, three things separately, but if you don't combine them, you don't, then take them you, you don't get the efficacy, exactly. That's really interesting. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. The fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin A, you know, you, you need to have a bit of fat with them, or oils, yes. you know, good healthy oil, or, you know, eat them with an egg at breakfast or whatever, to get, to get maximum absorption. I'm just going to turn you up um, to max, just so that our friends on... Facebook and YouTube can hear. Obviously, you can't see Elizabeth, but you can hear her words I of can wisdom. I can put headphones in which if is... I'm in any way too faint. Say again? I can put headphones in if I'm too quiet. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. If anybody has a problem, just let me know. Um, now, today, as I said on my Instagram, we're going to take a little bit of a look at weight loss. 
Um, also, just before we get into that, there was a very interesting comment from uh, a viewer on Instagram saying, that's all very well, but what about weight gain? Mm. You know, it, just can we just cover that off really quickly for anybody who's perhaps been losing too much weight or finds it difficult to maintain weight? What would you suggest? My number one would be is if you're, if you're having any issues with weight gain, always, always, always go to your doctor first because yeah. unexpected weight loss can be a symptom of, of, of something else. a myriad of underlying issues, exactly. Sure. So if it's weight loss that you're feeling is problematic, please go and see your GP. Always use that base point. Yeah. Um, and if it's that you have gone on, for example, an extreme diet mm. and you've lost too much weight, then I will always, always, always advocate coming back to the basics. Yeah. Come back to the basics. Balance diet, as you said, as much variety as you possibly can ensure that you've got a balanced plate but but in light of the five conversation that, that, that we're going to have etc it's, mm. it's it's always individual i would say protein is your absolute yeah. friend make sure you're getting good sources of both vegan and animal proteins obviously mm. unless you're, you're vegetarian or vegan in which case just just stick yeah. to the vegan proteins there's a lot of amazing ones out there and it's important to have that balance i actually um, have, have been reading that we really ought to be having protein with every meal oh unequivocally unequivocally mm. yeah your protein is your building block for absolutely everything yeah. it is all the amino acids in there control so many layers of hormones, of of weight gain, of weight loss, of energy levels, of mm. blood sugar level balance. It's protein is a fundamental building block to every single meal that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good advice on that. Now, but for the majority, certainly for the majority, I think watching here today, weight gain, especially if, as we come out of lockdown when there was just way too much banana bread making and all of that going on <laughs> all the time all around the country so i talked about fiber and fiber is kind of a bit of a cinderella thing isn't it that gets overlooked and we don't really talk about it it's not particularly sexy it's not particularly fashionable um but there's so much that our gut bugs do with fiber isn't it that, that our, our gut bugs are actually really fortified i mean continuing the conversation we had about gut health on tuesday if you want to feed your gut bugs we need to have different sorts of fiber don't we definitely and, and of course there is the pre and probiotic benefit of, of fiber and there is the roughage element of fiber which you know literally does what it says on the tin it is that's what the digestive system does but also fiber for me and I, it's really interesting what you've just picked up with your pot of snack, and, and I'll come back to that. Mm. Is fiber slows the absorption of glucose, sugar, into our body. So having fiber as part of, or preferably at the start of your meal, will mm. completely change the way that you digest that meal and the way that your body responds to any glucose or fructose that's in your meal. Interesting. So... It, it, there are so many layers to fibre, as you say, it's not a particularly sexy topic, but actually I've become completely obsessed with it. Because, really? Yeah, because I think we, we, the way we define food now is yeah. so different to ancestral food. And if you think that we oh, would have... So right. I don't know if everyone's seen at the moment, there was a particular um, cereal brand that I won't say the name in, in at the moment going through regulation because of how much sugar is in there, how much. Yeah, I, I've seen posts on Instagram about that. And, and, you Unreal know, amounts of sugar. About, mm. You know, main meals, savoury meals that are actually so full of sugar, they should be defined as confectionery. And, you know, I think we're so skewed. Yeah, yeah, again, I won't mention names, but wow. our concept of food is so skewed these days. And actually, yeah. we think of fibre as, oh, it's something you take if you're constipated or if you're having digestive issues. But it's not. It's, it's an integral building block mm. to, to our lives. And mm. if you take the example of... of an apple, for example, we're always asked the question of what I have do one I here. Choose? There you go. <laughs> on cue. This is going if to be my snack an later. Apple, <laughs> I have an apple. Nature is very clever and it puts fibre with the sugar. So if you eat the apple, the fibre will completely change the way you will metabolise that to if you juice that apple and just drank the juice, yeah. which is basically the sugar part with obviously a bit of water in there. I have, you know, really gone away from fruit juice. I use a little bit, you know, if I mean, I've written books on juicing and I, you know, I do like juicing, but I will mostly juice vegetables. Yeah. 
and things with a lower sugar content. And even when I've made juices, I'll only have a small bit, you know, I mean, a little, looking at that little jar. I mean, you know, and almost, you almost have to chew your juice, don't you? Just, you're not just sort of glugging back half a pint of pasteurized acidic orange juice that sat on a shelf, supermarket shelf for weeks no, at a time. it's basically just sugar water. But, sugar you know, water. Yes, there might be a few vitamins <coughs> in there, but it's, it's pretty much just sugar water. Mm. Um, and that's not to say that you can't enjoy those things, but, but for us, the point is make sure that that is part of a balanced meal. And, and mm -hmm. um, I'm just seeing a question come up of, is psyllium husk a, a good source of fibre? Absolutely. So yeah. for us, the, our fibre product is derived from the cognac plant. And it's actually... It's yes. Now, let's you, talk about that. So you have very kindly <clears throat> sent me some of this because we're going to be chatting about it today. This is called Feel Great Fibre. It comes in a really nice eco pack. I deliberately resisted the temptation to open it and try it because I kind of like to do things in real time. And I thought I'll do the experience that everybody else will have at home when you get this. So, and I was reading the ingredients and it's very interesting because I was expecting something like psyllium husk, but it's this glucomon fiber uh, and, and, and cognac. So, so what is this exactly? So cognac is a plant and it is glucomon is a raw ingredient fiber that comes out of that. And it's an incredibly soluble fiber that can swell up to a hundred times its size when you add it to water. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, <laughs> if I like to think of it as if you think about you're really hungry and you've got a completely empty stomach that's kind of this size. Yeah, that size. Okay. And then you show. take your command and shot. Mm -hmm. You're going to halve the size of your stomach because you fill filled Ooh. it with fiber, a water soluble fiber. So then you're going to feel fuller quicker. Sure. You're going to make wiser choices I, I always like to use the analogy of it's like going to a restaurant and not grabbing the bread basket as do you I know do. that is so true i'm going to need this before going <laughs> out to supper because that is me you know i will often eat late by which time i'm starving yes and if i do you know get to go out for supper it's that bread basket isn't it and you you know you've had That's before right. you know it, you've had like three bread rolls and a load of butter before yeah. you've even had a chance to have anything proper absolutely and um, and Again, that's not to say don't eat or any of those things. I, for me, it allows me to be a conscious eater. You conscious know, I, eating. When I take that immediacy of that's eating it, Tracy. Out, so Rachel, Rachel, we'll, we'll, we'll pop a link up on Facebook. We're being asked what it's called. It's called Feel Great Fibre, Gabriella Peacock. Um, okay, so let's see then. So I'm literally opening this for the very first time. I have my teaspoon and my water because that's all you need, isn't it? It's a very. Um, oh. Now you'll notice but it may or may not your one. So because we've moved to this completely compostable packaging, which has been a huge shift for us as a business and yeah. a really important part of our vision going forward, as, as you and, and probably most of your viewers will know, plastic mm -hmm. is impermeable in terms of air and moisture, which is why it's used for packaging. Yeah. The new versions that are compostable, etc., obviously don't have any, any plastic in them, so air and moisture can get in. So you may find that the product hardens slightly. That's absolutely okay. fine. It's, it's so just that's a it the inside. Do you see? So if it goes a bit lumpy, don't panic, because you're going to put it into water off, anyway. Fine. Exactly. fine. So I have my glass. Yep. I have my teaspoon. Yep. <laughs> so talk me through what I'm going to do. Swell very quickly, you'll notice. And, okay, and I have my water to, at the ready. <laughs> so I would put in sort of in that glass, I'd put maybe a third of the glass of water. Okay. Like that? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. And then take one teaspoon of the feel great fibre. It can be a nice heaped teaspoon. Okay, like that kind of amount? Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then just stir it into the water. There we go. And stir it all to absorb. Oh, it's mixed really easily, immediately. Really easily, and then just drink it down. Now, okay. depending on if you're about to eat or not, you may not want to finish the whole thing, but up to you. Oh, it's got a nice flavour. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting yeah. that. So it's slightly like lemony, lovely. Yeah, so we use freeze-dried lemon oil. So we, we keep things as clean as we can. A freeze-dried lemon oil and stevia. So <coughs> oh, excuse as clean me. and natural as we possibly can. Mmm. That is delicious because I have done cleanses before 
where I've used psyllium husks, you know, which yeah. is a powerful internal cleanser, but boy, it doesn't taste good. No, I, I kind of, it feels a bit like drinking sandy water with psyllium husk. Fantastic, yeah. it's great, but it is a bit like sandy yeah. water because it doesn't actually dissolve, whereas ours does. So it's, it's a slightly easier drink. Mm. So, so tell me, so how, how often would I drink this? Would I drink this before eating every meal or what, what's the deal? It really depends on what your health goals are. And for us, we try to make products that are completely adaptable depending on your health goals. We've, we've sort of mentioned the weight loss, thing, so I'll, I'll start there in terms okay. of. If you take <coughs> 20 me. minutes before each main meal. 20 minutes before each main meal. Roughly. It doesn't, you know, it's kind of, and if, mm -hmm. if you don't have that 20 minutes and you do it straight away, that's fine. We just say yeah. roughly because in that 20 minutes, mm. that lovely gel will form. Mm. You're going to be swelling in my tummy <laughs> right now. <laughs> Excellent. But not in a bloated way. You're not going to have, you know, it's kind of a big bloated tummy. That's fine. No, it's just going to um, fill it up a bit. That will, exactly. It will help fill it mm -hmm. up. And it also means that when you, whatever you do eat, you form this lovely sort of um, fiber in, in the intestines that will then slow down the glucose that goes out into the bloodstream. That makes sense. Goes out into the body. So instead of having this kind of sugar high that, that you get from, an, you know, maybe a Mars bar or a chocolate bar or something, we yeah. associate with a sugar high. We don't associate it with starchy vegetables, which mm. actually are, are full of natural sugars themselves. We don't associate it with maybe the, the carbohydrates in milk and things like that, because we mm. don't think about the sugars. Again, our concept of food is, is skewed. And, yeah. and, you know, we will sit and eat kind of a bunch of grapes or, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and grapes are so high great. in sugar. And, so and tropical fruits, you know, things like mango and pineapple. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And yes, they've got the fiber content, but... A lot of fruit, sugar. Even 50 mm. years ago, it would have been very, very different to the fruit that we have now. Certain, like, it's bread for or, sugar, isn't it? I mean, they, they changed the breeding to make them. things sweeter. Exactly. Mm. And about eight times the size. You're an apple used to be a crab apple. Yeah, a little, apple. little apple. And now, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you're, you're so apple. right. Especially, like uh, let's have a go at the French here. Especially, I gather, the French varieties. Um, you know things like is it golden delicious is that a French one but they they are really really sweet and there's another yeah. one called is it pink, pink lady? lady oh yeah pink lady so full of sugar if you look at the content the sugar content of different apples yeah. you know getting those old-fashioned traditional varieties you know Bramley Cox's or whatever which might taste a bit sharp to modern day taste but they do have a lot less sugar and you're still getting all that lovely fiber which is so important absolutely and you know lots of other benefits of a bitter taste is actually very good to us it's partly why the pickled vegetables you mentioned and things like yeah. that bitter tastes yeah. hit certain notes on the tongue which again change how we metabolize foods it changes our cravings and you might say well why is it important to why does it if I get a sugar high, it doesn't matter where it'll go at all. Mm. Actually, that's really critical to the body. And, and one of the things that I just changed my life when I learned it about fiber and, and glucose spikes and things is my cravings in the afternoon mm. will likely have started by what I chose for breakfast. Yeah, because I if I had, if I didn't have fiber and I had a sugar high and I had a sweet breakfast, such as the cereals we mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. my whole day is a roller coaster of yeah. trying to catch up yeah, it just goes up and down, those spikes. All day. Mm. Whereas if you have the fibre to help re slow down that glucose spike, mm -hmm. or blood sugar levels, as, as we kind of refer to them, your energy mm. levels, instead of going like that all day, you can make really considered food yeah. choices. Yeah. And I always thought, oh, I'm an emotional eater, I'm this or that, and we know we're a total sugar addict, total sugar addict, mm. self-confessed. When I switched up and, and put the fibre in front and added that into my diet, I, I, I don't even think about the sugar in the afternoon now, which really? anyone that knows me will know that is, <clears throat> that is a massive yeah. life change for me in terms of that. Yeah. So the fiber is really important in terms of balancing that, and, and that's how it impacts weight loss, because not right. only are you putting the science of, of less glucose into the body, therefore... Once, once, the, once the liver and the muscles use up the, the energy that we create for foods and there's a surplus because we've had too much, mm -hmm. it's got to go somewhere. That's mm -hmm. why we release insulin and it gets stored in the fat cells. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that surplus, 
it doesn't go into the fat cells or the yeah. body uses up the energy that it needs, which which we're all used to hearing as a calorie deficit. But calories are a very simplistic way of defining energy within yeah, the body. Yeah, yeah, calories. I think you know, count, counting calories is really considered just not the thing to be doing now, is it? Because all calories aren't equal, you know, and, and the body doesn't use them in an, in an equal way. So. I loved your post the other day of the broccoli and the Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which one should we go for? I did. I didn't have that much chocolate at Easter. I you know, like you, I've kind of weaned myself off. When you when you start having more fat in the diet and more fibre, actually that that sweet tooth, I don't I don't really have it anymore. Yeah. Um, and I'm interested to hear about the cognac fibre. Can you explain again, for those who missed it, what cognac fibre is? Where does it come from and how do you make this? So it comes from a plant called literally the cognac plant and it is ground down into a powder form called glucomannan. Um, it comes from um, Southeast Asia is where it's, it is native. Really? Cognac and you may have seen um, the, the cognac sponges. You can get them as both facial Yeah, and I have seen sponges. cognac sponges. Yeah. And you know they go really hard and then you put them in water and they expand and out. And they expand. Yeah, That's okay. It. I'm not advocating eating your sponge, obviously. <laughs> that would be a bit extreme. <laughs> visualize what it is and that's how it goes from that powder to expanding in the stomach and then when you're taking it is that literally all it's doing so it's not giving you any nutrients it's not a food supplement in that way it's purely there to give fiber and bulk absolutely and mm. so the fiber in itself is is roughage it doesn't have nutritional value as we know it in terms of other vitamins and minerals etc so yeah but it does change processes within the body. And mm -hmm. not just weight loss, you know, 70% of UK adults don't get their recommended daily allowance of fiber. Mm. And when we think about the impact of that in terms of obviously associated bloating and all the things we were talking about, with you back, but yeah. also far more sinister things such as cancers, etc. You know, you need the, the bowel, the intestines. Yeah, you there need to get things moving. Back. Will this help then with constipation? I mean, will you notice a change in your bowel movements if you're having this Absolutely. regularly? And it could be that you're very happy with your weight, that actually you want to gain weight, as, as we mentioned at the beginning, yeah. in which case I would just have one teaspoon of that fibre per day to make sure you're adding up your fibre levels. So yeah. you can use it however suits you. But Brilliant. absolutely, that soluble fibre, it absorbs water along the way, so it just helps create that healthy bowel movement. So do you need to drink more water if you're using this regularly? Absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Yeah, really good question. I should have mentioned that. So we would always say follow it with a kind of a large glass of water as well. We'll do just that. Help it go through you. Honestly, I'm, I'm staying at this amazing thermal spa, Badragaz, and they have their own thermal spring water. It just literally comes out of the ground. And they, they give you endless bottles of, of their own thermal water, which, and, and they just say you've got to have like two to three litres of water a day, which is quite a lot. So I have been trying. Funnily enough, I am. You do get used to it. You're quite right. Absolutely. And it's the same with time. It's a very good point. We get asked a lot, am I going to get gas? Am I going to get bloating? Am I going to, you know, am I going to be need the toilet too much? Yeah. Just as when you start to drink two to three litres of water per day, you will need to pee more. So you will go to the bathroom more. I have noticed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the body gets used to it. And then you'll yeah. find that the, you, you regulate and go back to normal. So mm. you may get a little bit of bloating from increasing the fibre in your diet. But if anything, sure. that just shows that you weren't having enough. And, mm. you know, so that will even out. And of course, yeah. if we make any change in our diet, there will be kind of There'll be changes, obviously. You know, it's like I remember, you know, talking to people about first taking HRT, for example, and saying, oh, my goodness, I've got, you know, breast tenderness and a bit of bloating and whatever. That's just your body getting used to having its hormones back. You know, you can't expect to make a change internally, whether it's what you're eating, your foods, whatever, and not see your body go, oh, hold on a minute, what's this? I need to get used to this. If you started or stopped having caffeine, yeah. anyone would difference it's exactly the same with fiber or extra water or so yeah absolutely as much water as you can is really important and yeah. funny enough i just um, i was down in dorset for two weeks for um, easter with my family down there and I, I live in edinburgh and i came back up mm. 
and it, the incentive to drink water up here because it's much softer and it's, it's so it's just yeah. naturally tastes like Highland Spring out the tap. We're very, very lucky oh, up here. Great. Like, down the tap, it's full yeah, of you don't need to <laughs> filter it or anything. Yes, absolutely, yeah. exactly. So, really good questions uh, coming across here from everybody watching. Can you take too much? So, you know, could you take it three times a day if you wanted to? Say you were doing a really kind of initial blitz to, to shift yeah. a few pounds. Three times a day is absolutely what we would recommend if you're looking to lose weight. And, okay. and interestingly, glucomannan is the only, only, only ingredient on the market recognised by the Food Standards Association, which is the UK governing body yeah. um, in terms of claims that you can make against it. Yeah, FSA. Mm -hmm. That has a weight loss claim. Really? Yes. You're actually okay. allowed to say that it, it helps you lose weight because that's a very hard claim to get. You've got to really hard. prove it to get that. Yeah. And that claim is alongside three grams per day. So that's three one gram servings, which is roughly a teaspoon a day, yeah. 20 minutes before each meal, along, of course, alongside a healthy balance. Yeah, you can't healthy. just have that and then sit and eat a box and of dairy milk, exactly. you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that is, that is huge, you know, and, and we are one of very few brands on the market that actually do that. And we've been doing this for about six years now in terms of this Gosh. product. I was going to ask you, because Gabriella, obviously, I, I know... Um, you know, has individual private clients as well. You know, she's an amazing nutritionist. So she will have counseled a lot of real women through real weight loss journeys. And is this something that she would always recommend to anybody that she was talking to about weight loss? Yeah, and it's actually why she created the product because that's what most people were coming to her in her clinic for. And, and yeah. it was, okay, how can, I, how can I offer a really simple solution that yeah. genuinely helps people and, and really makes a difference to their lives? And that's I'm where being asked, product... I'm being asked to show the packet again. Everyone's super interested. It's Gabriella Peacock, okay? And it's called Feel Great Fibre. And it comes in this really neat little uh, paper packet. It tells you all about it on the back. And if you saw my earlier demo, Literally, it was one teaspoon of this powder into my glass of water, and it tastes it tastes delicious. It tastes of Sicilian lemons, which is what we've got on here. They're sweetened with a little bit of stevia, so the natural, you know, zero calorie plant. Um, let me show you inside if you've missed it. There you go. That's what you're getting. So simple. And again, what I like, if you're talking about weight loss. Um, you're talking about adding something in because very often when you talk about weight loss, it's like, oh, what have we got to give up now? What have we got to stop having? And actually we're saying eat more diversity, eat more colorful veg, eat more of those good things. If you, if you like your fruit juice, consider switching to just fruit. So I used to give my, my little one um, fruit juice in the morning because he loves it. And I was thinking at least that's a good way to get vitamins into him. And then I started diluting it with water so it wasn't so sugary. He didn't like that so much. Um, and now, if he wants, you know, some orange juice, I'll give him an orange. Yes, and actually, that satisfies him because he gets the lovely orangey taste, the juicy taste. But I know that that sugar release is being slowed down with all the fibre in the fruit. Absolutely. And, and Gabby's brilliant with her children on this. Absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. of, you know, I've heard them running around like, Mum, can I have this? Can I have that? And she'll say, yes, but you have your fibre and protein first. Ah, don't just put sugar into an empty stomach. So again, this fibre can be used. If, if in the afternoon you're like, I need to take down those biscuits because... <laughs> have or, or you're going to, you know, like a birthday tea, or, you know, maybe at work or at, in, in a book club or whatever, you know, you, you know that it's somebody's birthday, they're going to be bringing a cake and you're yeah. going to have to have a piece have because be rude not and then, to. And, 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 you know, we get in... So, as women, we are held to such guilt conscience all the time about Tell choice to make can yeah. I have a sugar can I not have this life's too short to not eat the cake and that you know I say that absolutely as, as mm. an aligned message with Gabby in terms of how she sees nutrition live your life mm. but mm. have really sensible solutions there to support you and ensure that you're doing mm. that consciously rather than yeah. you know enjoy the cake brilliant but have your fiber first yeah it's, I, it's I totally agree with you and I love that expression that you've used conscious eating yeah Conscious eating, so we consciously make a decision. Do you know what? I really fancy a piece of cake. Yeah. My friends made this. I'm going to have one, and I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to really enjoy it. Yeah. 
that's and conscious cake eating, isn't it? It's not kind of, oh, let's just stuff it in while I'm, you know, yeah. unloading the dishwasher or, you know, yes. walking the dog yeah. or whatever. You know, it's like I'm making a conscious decision to do that and I'm not yeah. going to beat myself up about it either. No, I love every mouthful. Wonderful. Why? Mm. I mean, if you can't eat cake, what, what size, you know? So whatever <laughs> your choice is, you know, whatever, whatever yeah. your indulgence is. And that's great. And just... Be informed. I'm really passionate about educating people about the body's response to these things, just as you are, you know. And, and like you say, these it's so exciting when things that you've been researching and writing about for years, like, mm. like you said about Oxybag, yeah. new research comes out and, and new new authors come out. You know, there's an amazing woman at the moment um, called um, Glucose Goddess who's talking about oh, all these Absolutely. Things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've, I've seen her on Instagram. It's great. I love yeah. We've been talking about this for years and having fresh yeah. eyes on it and a fresh opinion is just, it's fantastic. So yeah. having these conversations to empower us so that we can make these conscious choices, yeah. that, that's what we're all about as a brand. Okay, so a couple of quick points because I've seen them yeah. coming up on here. Um, so gpnutrition.com, yes. that's your yes. website, isn't it? Right. Um, yes. And if you want the 15% off, use Liz Loves, okay? All, all right. in capitals, all one word. Does that apply across all products or is that just the fibre? All products, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Because I, I yeah. did go on there and you've got a rather nice looking chocolate protein powder. I thought, Ooh. Oh, no, yes. Yeah. So we've got, um, that's <laughs> our, our meal replacement. And that's actually a powerhouse of... Mm. I, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention other brands, so I won't, but a meal replacement rather than just protein. So okay. you've got MCT oil in there, you've got oats in Ooh. there, you've got vegan protein in there, you've got over 20 vitamins and minerals in there. You've, I mean, so it's a really healthy meal replacement. You know, I, I would rather obviously eat a meal and Absolutely. cook from scratch, but there are times when we can't for whatever reason, yeah. or we might be convalescing or looking after somebody who's convalescing or yeah. wanting to feed students at uni with a bit of extra brain power because they're not eating well. Yes, absolutely. So we will always, always, always advocate food first. Sure. But as, as we all know, soil quality, food availability, organic, non-organic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, we don't get the level of nutrition in foods these days that we used to for a myriad of reasons. Now, so, let me just check, because I, I've got Rachel here um, who looks after our social media, who's on Facebook. A couple of people have said that the discount isn't applicable. So can you oh, just check that out? We can you just can. Well, I mean, Rachel, Rachel can, can hop online and just check it. It should be Liz Loves, all one word. Were you yeah. doing it in capitals? I don't know whether you're case sensitive, yeah. are you? It's all capitals, but yeah, that should okay. be working. Great. Right now. Okay, well, thank you very much for that. Um, and yes, for those so of you who... Any problems, just DM us and we'll absolutely honour yeah, it for yeah. anybody, so any problems. Okay, fantastic. Um, and talking about the, the... I forget the name of the fibre now. Is it cognac? Con yeah, so glucomannan. Glucomannan. So a couple of questions that have come in, I think possibly related to the Octobac live earlier this week, is if you've got a digestive issue, say you've got IBD or IBS... Yeah. You know, is it going to be safe to take if you if you get bloating because of a food intolerance? It's definitely safe to take, but again, I would say if you're at the point where you have a, for want of a better word, you know, digestive condition or a digestive. If ailment, you're seeing a doctor, for example, absolutely yeah. go to your GP first. Sure. Always with anything like this, yeah. always go to your GP first. Oh, yeah. It's not um, what's the word counter. Uh, there's no contraindication. Contraindication, That's yeah. <laughs> because no it's so bland, isn't it? I mean, it's literally just yeah. just fibre that's yeah. very oh. gentle, a very gentle fibre that's swelling up in your stomach. Yeah, that being said, it is it is a condensed fibre rather than, you know, that you would get, say, from chewing broccoli. You know, it, it is a... It's a, it's a um, rich form of fiber so yes of course it might mm. aggravate some digestive issues depending on what they are etc so are. if you're seeing a gp absolutely yeah. speak to them first you just have to try it and see yeah i have yeah. to say it does sound like an absolute wonder product um and i think that you know i'm certainly more aware now coming into the summer months and i put my lovely me and m dress back on because the sun is shining here and getting just a little bit more conscious about the kind of winter pile on. Yeah. I, I, I put on a few pounds over Christmas, um, thinking it's Christmas, you know, I'm going to just let up for a bit. Uh, I'll shift them in the new year. And yeah. they're still there. 
Yeah. Which, you know, given the fact that it's gone Easter, <laughs> is not great, is it? So, <laughs> the weather's only just turning. <laughs> there, that's my excuse. Uh, I thought yeah. I might lose a little bit of weight while I was away, but I didn't. So, you know, it's just a few pounds, and it's just, it just bothers me. You know, it just means that my trousers are slightly tighter than yeah. they were before. And, and all the things um, associated with that, in terms of the hormones that, that happen from, from blood sugar imbalances, you know, our, our kind of feel, our, our hunger hormones and those things, but hormones we tend as women to associate with our, our cycles and those kind of things sure. but actually hormones are important for your skin your hair glowing skin how quickly your hair grows so many other processes in the body and that's yeah. what fine helps with as well so you know we're, we're absolutely not yeah of course we're about weight management and those kinds of things but we're about overall health and all the benefits yeah. that come with fiber um i just noticed a comment saying that the code doesn't work on subscriptions i think that's I correct saying, isn't it i think it's, it's on sing work. single items yeah because subscriptions you already get quite a big you discount, get your discount. And part of that. Yeah, yeah so it will just be one-off purchases yeah, yeah. Great, but great for trying. Elizabeth, it's fantastic to chat to you and it's lovely to see you again after all these years. Good luck with everything and thank you very much for your generosity and for introducing us to something new. I mean, I'm really excited and I no longer feel hungry. I don't know whether it's psychosomatic, but obviously it's lunchtime. I'm actually an hour ahead here in Switzerland. Um, so it's actually now nearly 20 past two. And I Definitely. haven't yet had my lunch. So, you know, this is obviously doing something. So thank you. Absolute pleasure. Lovely to chat to you. Enjoy the rest of your trip out there. Thank you. Thank you Thanks very so much. much. Now you Bye. need to click off because otherwise I, I click everybody off. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Very interesting, don't you think? Very, very interesting. Yes, so that discount, the 15%, is off single items, okay, the first time you go on the uh, GP Nutrition website. So ideal for trial, basically, if you want to have a little trial. And, yeah, do you know, I genuinely don't feel hungry. So how long is that going to last, I wonder? Uh, okay, so before I go, a couple of things just to remind you. Um, we did talk about Optibac. Everyday Max, that's absolutely fine to, to take with that. And the one that I've actually brought with me here, and I am going to do a little video of the things that I brought, the things that when I drill down and really kind of edit what's going in my case, because obviously I'm limited on luggage and weight allowance, I did bring the microbes with me. I do love it, the BioLive. And it's completely fine to take alongside the Optibac if you want to. This is 15 different families of beneficial bacteria. So, in fact, you know what? I'm actually going to put some into my water now because I do like having it before I eat something. It doesn't really matter when you have it, but this is it. It's a little capful there is going in. It's got a kind of slightly apple cider vinegary taste. I don't know if you've um, tried it. Let me know in the comments if you have tried it. But it is a really lovely British family brand. It's a farming family, and they get the microbes from soil. And it creates such diversity in the gut. So if you're looking at giving yourself a little bit of a health kick, and again, talking to the experts here at Bad Regaz, a lot of their focus is on gut health. You can actually come and do whole microbiome courses if you want to, where they, they analyze, you know, they do stool samples before you get here. So they do, a, you know, they produce this 25 page report that gets analyzed. So, you know, really, really good and, and certainly, you know, worth looking at if that's something that you're interested in. But just for home use, you know, that the microbes, I think, are excellent. And there is a Liz Loves, if I can remember it, just to pass on, because we all like a bit of a saving, don't we? Yeah, 10%. Um, but you'll find all this on the Liz Our Wellbeing website if you want to. Couple of things. We are running up to the end of the month. Can you believe it? Coming up to the end of April. I mean, where is the year going? Looking forward to May because it's my birthday month. So it's always a special month for me. Uh, and it's the kind of the start of spring properly, isn't it? You know, we've got May Bank holiday, got plans for the weekend. Don't forget to listen to my podcast. It's such a good one. You know, if you are thinking about having a bit of a wellness reboost, then do listen to the Friday Five podcast. Uh, that's part of the Liz Our Wellbeing show. It's going live tomorrow because I'm back with Zana Morris, who we all love, don't we, for her training, her words of wisdom when it comes to shaping up for midlife women. She's a great personal trainer and a top qualified nutritionist. 
and she's just helped so many women and we have a really good old chat so we're just editing that at the moment so that is going out um, tomorrow so if you're subscribed to the podcast uh, if not why not but I hope you enjoy that if you're off on your travels this weekend you can download it listen in the car pop it in your headphones listen to it on the train or wherever or just as you're going about all your stuff that you're doing this weekend but it is the last chance of a couple of great brands which run out on the 30th of April so they will expire this weekend the first one is Michael Van Clark I'm actually going to go and meet Michael yeah in real life isn't that exciting when I get back I'm going to go for a haircut so I'm really excited about that but this you can see I've been using it a lot it's really come down in um, in volume this is the cashmere protein UV protective conditioner I love it absolutely love it makes my hair really soft and shiny so that's one of his products again that came with me and the other one that came with me was the volumizing blow dry spray which I also like very much but Michael Van Clark he's given us 20 percent of his range I love the range. He has an amazing rose shampoo, sulfate free, really good for color treated hair like mine, doesn't fade the color, foams really well. It's absolutely divine. The smell is incredible. Just smells like you're shampooing your hair with a big bunch of roses. Love it. Um, so I personally will be restocking on that, but that's Liz Loves on Michael Van Clark. Thank you very much, Rachel. You're putting links up on Facebook. Um, that gets you 20% off. And the other thing that's expiring on the 30th of March is the Hey You method. So if you haven't yet got your Gua Sha, which is your lovely facial gadgets, you know, the facial smoother. I've actually left mine in the bathroom. I've got these to show you. These are the body combs. So you can also get 20% off these. You stand in the shower and you comb your tummy and you comb your arms. Really good for... I don't know, lymphatics and blood circulation. Katie Brindle is the founder, female founder of, of uh, the Hey You Method. She's got lots of explanations on her website as to why these work really well, why the Gua Sha works really well. And this one I love. This again came with me. This is so cooling. If you've got eye bags, it's just great. And it's just the right shape to kind of massage around the eye area. Have you tried this? Love it absolutely love it I want to carry on actually but I shall leave it for now but yes 20% off um, and they make lovely presents you know if you're buying a present for a girlfriend or your mum or whatever really really good because it's just so neat it comes in a really cute little bag like that so what to give the girlfriend who has everything get her a little rose quartz eye smoother um, okay, that is just about it. If you want some reading for the weekend, I do have an e-guide called A Happier, Flatter Tum, which covers all the things that we've been talking about this week, especially. It's all about gut health. There's a lot in there for IBS, a lot about supplements. There's links to podcasts you can listen to, download free resources. Really, really good. So if you'd like that, you will find that over on the Liz Our Wellbeing website. And just to say, I'm looking forward to getting my new magazine. We are just about to to go to press with the May June edition it's a really good one I always say that I know but it is a really good one so thank you team my well-being team have been amazing with this issue so this is the current one so if you haven't subscribed yet you can still subscribe and get this there's a few copies left not many but there are a few um, or you could start with the May June edition if you want and there is the MTHK I vitamins as the free subscription gift worth about £30. So really good. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to and you get the new edition, which will be posted out probably the beginning of next week. I think there might be uh, they're doing it after the bank holiday weekend, I think. So, yeah, you can get back issues of the magazine. Yeah, if you talk, uh, speak to Warner's. Um, so Warner's great distribution company that do all our fulfillment, much better than the last lot that we didn't like very much. We had lots of complaints about that. So we sacked them. And we're now with Warner's and they do have back issues. So, yeah, you can either speak to them, call them up. Uh, you talk to a real person in, in England who will answer the phone to you and help you. And they have, I think they've got most of the back issues. I know some people have the complete library. I think we're up to about 36 copies now. Uh, so you can also get them online. So you can get them on the Liz Our Wellbeing app and you can also download them digitally if you want to have them, you know, kind of on your iPad or whatever. And you can also email Warners. If you go to the Liz Our Wellbeing website where it says buy the magazine, there's this little click button that brings up 
all the all the details. Yeah, you can get it in Ireland. We're mail order. So basically, um, you can have it wherever you like in the world. All you have to do is pay the extra postage. The postage is quite expensive. You know, it's a good quality magazine. We use lovely quality paper um, and, you know, nice thick covers so you can keep them. And so the postage, we'll post it. I mean, we send it to Australia. We send it to South America, you know, North America. We send it to, say, yes, Ireland. No problem. We can definitely send it to you. Oh, Catherine, you're very welcome answering her question. Yeah, no problem. Nikki, yeah, you can subscribe on Readly. That's also good. Readly is the subscription app where you can subscribe to any magazine. Um, I think you subscribe to Readly and then you can just read anything that you want. Anything, pretty much any magazine that's printed in the world, you can get on Readly, which is, uh, oh, thank you for your nice. You're just missing May, June 2019. Yeah, well, speak to them, Victoria. Speak to Warners or send them an email and I'm sure we'll be able to help you. No problem. Um, you can take out the subscription, Isabel, whenever you like. So you can take it and stop it whenever you like. Um, and in fact, we have got a new subscription, um, which hopefully helps with a bit of budgeting. It means you don't have to pay the full amount. You can just pay month by month. So that's really good. Yeah, so my dress is from Me and M. Me and M. And that's another fab British fashion brand, female founder. And they have lots of nice things. I was looking at their email just this morning, actually, thinking that they had some nice new things in. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to love you and leave you. I will be back, of course, on Tuesday for my live. I'm going to be posting lots of bits of information and stories from here in Switzerland to make the most of my time at Bad Regards and some of the amazing wellness experts that I'm connecting with and talking to. So I hope that you will tune in and enjoy those. Leave me comments on my Instagram. I don't do direct message because I just get overwhelmed, but I do normally try and respond to as many comments as I can. Oh, we've got some lovely things coming up on um, Tuesday. We are going to be talking a little bit more about gut health, particularly through the cycles of female life, which is good. Um, oh, I'm going to be allowed to reveal the new magazine. How exciting. I wonder if I'll actually have a copy. Might have a preview copy. Let's hope so. And also talking about weighted blankets, um, which I think are really interesting for anxiety and for calming and for better night's sleep. Oh, I'm just going to leave you with this lovely comment from Lydia, who says something rather lovely about curling up with the Lizza Wellbeing magazine and a cuppa. Thank you. In fact, we've had some lovely comments. Actually, before I go, I should just say thank you on my Instagram. Um, Janet, if you're watching, thank you. You say you are brilliant, Liz. I've learned so much over the last couple of years. Thank you. Well, it's great to share, isn't it? Knowledge is power. Um, and Melanie says it's incredible to think it's been two years, Liz. Yeah, it's two years since I started my lives. And obviously a few more since you first graced our screens. Yeah, I started on this morning 32 years ago. Yeah, I was a toddler at the time, obviously, very small child. Um, such a blessing to have come from such a difficult time with so much wisdom, joy and fun shared along the way. Thank you very much, Melanie. That's very kind of you to say. Wisdom, joy and fun. That's what we're all about. Have a lovely weekend and I look forward to seeing you live next week. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.